drought is always a struggle for both us and our plants. We don't have access to running water, and we have a sizable plantation at our disposal. In our area, we have a well, but it takes a lot of effort to pull water out. And sometimes one bucket of water is not sufficient for a small patch of land, especially when it's burning hot and it hasn't been raining for a month. Last time it was raining in the beginning of July when plants were still growing and blooming. As a rule, drought comes right in the perfect moment when we start to enjoy our first harvest. Strawberry plantlets are run as a development actively. I've bought five of these to renew our strawberry patch, so we water them every day to let runners root quicker. Grape plants grew well since the time I bought them, at the beginning of June. If you've missed the period when they were growing on my windowsill, click on the link above to watch the video. The trench was made for further cold winters since these grapes are sensitive to cold. Tomatoes are the ones to suffer first in this drought. It seems like their growth stopped completely as the plants are struggling to get water. I've decided to mulch them to help store water for a longer period after I water them. The same I did with peppers. Before that, the leaves were withered. Mulch did help as they look stronger now. Cabbages gather up their last strength to keep their leaves up and grow their heads. We don't water them because we don't usually have enough water supply for a day. We need to prioritize here. But when I look at this patch, I realize why people grow cabbages as a decoration. The tinted gifts are so beautiful. This is another pepper bed. Just look at the effectiveness of the mulch. It's almost 29 degrees Celsius, but the soil is humid under it. I've also put mulch in a new strawberry bed after we renewed the leaves and got the old ones. By the way, strawberries do feel great after I've mulched them. Raspberry is ready for the next year. I remove dried shoots and prepare them for autumn and winter. The ones that grow outside the bush will be taken for further reproduction. Greeneries that have planted two weeks ago grow slowly because of the lack of water. I hope they managed to gain enough roots to live through this period. Tomatoes that are of late plantation look stronger than those with roots.
I was surprised to see watermelons. I still think they won't grow bigger because they are particularly sensitive to the lack of water. Trees always take care of themselves in the drought because of their huge root system that goes right underneath into that water supply layer. The same happens with our walnut tree, the biggest tree in our garden. It always looks perfect even when it's super hot.